to another episode uh we are out here in cow pens y'all know the drill we're on the john boat uh got a few rods with me got the chesty gonna put y'all down there so y'all can see all the pov shots seven like 25 uh june 9th so we're gonna do a little fishing but anyways let's get to fishing see y'all on the chest peace all right guys we're on the chesty actually you know what i'm gonna start with this frog um i've seen a few fish like blow up over here so hopefully we can catch a big one we're using the filthy popping frog by Guggen Swell to eat me on the eat me on the back of it this thing I absolutely love this frog it is so it's just it's nasty dude and it doesn't fill up with water like a lot of other frogs do I mean this one just it's so easy to pop on the water with other like popping frogs that I've had or used before they're just like they're hard to pop on the water. They don't, they don't float as well. They get filled with water a lot, but this one sits right on top of the water. And every time you twitch, it pops beautifully. So I want to see if I'm gonna try to get a topwater bite real quick after this and see literally like every time you push it, there's no water. And normally with normal ones, you have to get the water out. But this one sits right on top of the water. It's just beautiful, it pops so easily. All right, I think that's it for the frog just for right now. Um, definitely going to come back to the frog later. We'll ski over here. We'll do a quick lap. And um, hopefully we'll catch some big ones, catch some fish. Uh, I haven't been out here in a while. I figured I'd get out here for y'all. So, yep, that's what we're doing. Honestly, just gonna let it sink all the way to the bottom and then twist it up and down just a little bit. Pretty easy style of fishing. But it gets a lot of bites. That's why I love throwing Senkos. They're so simple, but sometimes it takes simple just to catch fish. Sometimes you can't ever think. And there's a fish right there. Unless he dropped it. Oh, he still got it. There we go. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a nice one. Yes, sir, baby. On the weightless Sanko. Okay. All right, Jimmy. Jimmy Neutron. Okay. All right, son, son. Dude, that's a slab, baby. Right in the corner of the mouth. That came right out. That's a nice, probably I want to say a pound maybe. I don't know. I'm terrible at guessing weights, but that's sick. Got one RP my thumb. Just took a absolute beating. But hey, like I said, sometimes simple does the job. And there is a prime example of it. So that's two fish on the weightless Senko. If it ain't if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So hey, just cast right back in there. See if we can catch another one. That was a good size one. I felt that one too. Um, it's really easy. All you gotta do is just let it sink a little bit, twitch it up and down. You should feel it. This rod I'm using medium heavy. 
which I kind of wish I had a heavy rod because it's a worm and stuff. But medium heavy does the job. I, honestly, all my rods are medium heavies. I don't know what action this is, but it's a pretty, pretty good tip on it. I'm not the best with rods, so don't quote me on anything. So yeah, normally with my wacky worms, I do them side to side. This one, you want to just do straight up. Oh, so you pulled it right up and caught a piece of lettuce. And also, if you're doing this weedless, you always want to make sure your hook point is tucked in to the, to the worm. So then you can run your finger across it and you don't feel it at all. That just makes it easier for that, for that bait just to bounce off a brush and of course run through uh Makes it a lot easier to run through weeds and it doesn't get hung up or catching of the weeds with it. So I'm just casting between these uh, trees right here. Get a few twitches up and down, spin the, spin the reel. Oh my God, that one caught me off guard. I was checking my finger. No, definitely had a, had a bite. I don't think he's still on there. Oh man, it's definitely just got a bite. I don't know if y'all saw that. I don't know, dude. Maybe you can cast in there and see if you can bite again. Damn, I was looking at my finger. My finger was itching. I don't know why it was itching, but that's a good that's a good sign though. God, I yanked right on my rod. I did not have a good hook set at all. Oh, that's a fish. <clears throat> It's a tiny fish. Yes, sir. Another one on the weightless Senko, baby. Yep, there's a second one on the weightless Senko, just a small one. But hey, I'll take it. My feet and I just got soaked. But hey, who cares? It's fish. I'll take it. I mean, dude, post spawn, summer, early summer fishing, or late spring fishing. Dude, this is like the perfect way to, just to catch a ton of fish. It's just throwing a weightless sink. I mean, let it sink. Honestly, sometimes you can even dead stick it, which means just to let it sit. Don't even twitch it at all. And it's worked out twice, or it's worked out three times. Four times, I actually missed that one fish, but hey, caught that other one. So, hey, we're good. Mm. Something just busted right behind me. That's what she said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No one's seen it on the live, but I don't care. Ow. Son. Ow. Son. Son. Calm down. Calm down. All right. All right. Calm down. Yes. Dude. Dude. I ain't chill now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ain't nobody even seen it on the live. Man, right when I put the live on, man, no one even no one wants to join but it's okay because we got ourselves a fish yay back in the water man this is gonna be a hype vi ow it's gonna be a hype video a little behind the scenes action a little live in action don't really do many of these lives i don't think i've actually no i've done a live on this account on my fishing account i did more lives not really kind of that was a lie but yeah, we out here, we vibing, vibing and surviving, catching fish, living life. We got dual cameras. We got GoPro on the chest, Instagram live over here on the boat, little POV shot. All right, so I don't know who like who's listening or whatever, but so recently I dropped a video uh, where I had 100 subscribers talk about merch. I'm pretty close to start to doing it i know people are like asking me if i'm ever gonna like make them or, like when i'm gonna drop them um i'm actually in the process right now of um in the process right now of either i don't know if i'm gonna oh hey uh... all right i'm in the process of either getting a quote on how much this com one company can make my merch like print it or i've watched a ton of videos where i want to like print them myself like screen printing in my garage which i feel like that'd be a fun summer project to do but at the same time if like once i go back to college it's gonna get like really hectic with orders and stuff not 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 that i'm gonna have a lot of orders you know but we got some new designs coming 
I stayed up late, way too late, making designs of some merch. So got some t-shirts, thinking about doing some hats, thinking about doing some hoodies, some pretty cool designs. That's where we are right now. We're just fishing. We live in action. We're surviving the elements out here. Currently like 80, it's actually cooled off. It's a, it was a lot hotter earlier. Sweat my butt off. Humid as hell. Mosquitoes are killer. Bug spray is coming in clutch right now. The fish are biting, which that's all I care about. Mosquitoes are biting, which I don't freaking hate. But as long as the fish are biting, that's all I'm, that's, and uh, that's like two of the best sounds in the world. Popping on the top of the water and the sound of a reel. Camera battery's always dying, phone always dying. What's new? <laughs> Thank you.